Hi, my name's James, I'm 22 and I've got testicular cancer. Um, I'm in my second week of my second cycle. I've got three cycles of BEP, which is nine weeks in total of chemotherapy. And I'm feeling pretty good this week. Last week I was feeling pretty bad, uh, feeling sick, nauseous, very tired. Um, but this week I'm feeling pretty good so I can get out and about. Uh, today is Monday and it's about half two. And I'm going to go pop into town and cash my cheque, which is from Macmillan Cancer Support. I got my friend Neil doing the videoing. Um, he's studying film production. He used to be my old housemate. And uh, yeah, I've had to defer him for a year. I'm doing third, well, third year graphic design. And uh, yeah, I've had to defer, unfortunately, due to the fact of my uh, length of treatment. He's taking up nine weeks, and um, after I've got the recovery period, and in my third year, so I got my dissertation to write, and I felt that I needed to concentrate on my healthcare rather than my education. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to get back to it next year in September. I'll probably still do projects in between and uh, do a bit odd bit of design here and there. But I'm just about to head into town now and bank my cheque. The cheque from Macmillan Cancer Support is uh, definitely going to help go towards things like clothing, which I've um, had to buy, like new dressing gown and slippers, which I never really wore before, but were very useful for us in hospital. And uh, also transport costs, because I've had to go down to Bristol on the train and um, I've had family coming to visit up on the train as well and um, also taxis to and from the hospital here and uh, this cheque will definitely go towards paying for those fees and costs that I've incurred since having cancer. It's Tuesday about 12 o'clock just come back from the hospital, I had a blood test with my girlfriend Cheska, she drove me in, we got a parking permit now which is great, so we can park near the hospital for free and uh, I've had some good news, my tumour markers have come down which is brilliant and I've got to go back this evening for some more chemotherapy. This afternoon I've got to go into hospital for my top up of chemo which only lasts about an hour or so which is, which is pretty good. In my second and third week I've only got to go in for this top up and I don't seem to get any side effects from that which is brilliant whereas the first week um, after I've been in hospital for three days coming out oh, I feel so awful and it takes me about a week to recover so um, hopefully everything will go alright this afternoon. I haven't had many side effects which is pretty good um, apart from like, the sickness and not sleeping very well and probably the worst thing is losing my hair. Um, I used to have quite long hair down to about here and uh, I decided to cut it all off before I started chemotherapy because I just didn't like the idea of losing my hair, just like it falling out in lumps. Um, it's pretty tragic, really. Just on our way to my uh, chemo appointment at 4:45. Uh, it's just a top up, so I'm not too worried. I've only been in the hospital for about an hour or so. Wednesday, about half one, just cooking up some dinner. Uh, yesterday wasn't very good because uh, the chemo, I was two hours behind at the hospital and then once I got in there I had some kind of like weird side effect and uh, went all hot, had a bit of hot flush and also my hands came up with kind of a rash uh, which meant I had to have some steroids and some other drug pumped into me which kind of spaced me out a bit and also last night the steroids stopped me from sleeping so I had a sleepless night last night unfortunately. And I'm feeling pretty hungry, so I'm just going to have some lunch. Tonight, I'm going out on a bit of a date with my girlfriend. I'm going to get an Italian. Then after, we're meeting up with some friends and going to the cinema. And it'd be good to like meet up with people again and see them. And we're going to go see I Have a Christmas. Which is a bit of a kiss film, but girlfriend likes it. It's half seven and just about to see after Christmas. I'm pretty full up from having loads of pizza. And just want to enjoy myself tonight and forget about all the cancer stuff. Should be good. It's Thursday, about three o'clock. And uh, yesterday when I came out to cinema, I wasn't feeling too good. 
uh, probably the amount of chocolate and pizza that I had, and the fact it's a 3D film made me feel a bit funny. I'm not really feeling the effects of uh, chemotherapy this week, just trying to enjoy myself as best as I can, because I know next week I've got to be in for three days in hospital having chemo, and I'll definitely be feeling the effects after then. So um, this week I'm just trying to eat as much as I can, fill myself up, and uh, kind of bulk myself out a bit, because um, when you're not feeling good you don't really want to eat very much. Um, so today I'm taking it easy really, got a few jobs to do around the house, like washing up and putting out the clothes and things, and I've uh, been doing some Christmas cards to get them out of the way, um, just little jobs really, and I'm um, looking forward to tomorrow because I'm going over to a friend's house and we're going to have a bit of a Christmas meal and exchange our secret Santa gifts and uh, try and enjoy myself as much as I can. And I've got my birthday coming up on Monday, so I've got quite a bit of things to look forward to. It's Friday and time is... I can't be bothered to take all the time. <laughs> friend's house and um, we've had lots of Christmas food and exchanged presents and we're kind of having like a fake Christmas because we're not going to see each other um, over the Christmas time and obviously I'm going into chemo and stuff so uh, yeah, have a good day. Oh. <laughs> I brought the German stuff. It's supposed to be mild wine, it's supposed to heat up. Um, it's about a year old, got it last year, so I don't dare drink it. And I'm not drinking alcohol, so I'll see what everyone else thinks of it, really. Oh, oh the big speakers! <laughs> That's it, they've got to get them off. Um, It's a Wonderful Life. Watching It's a Wonderful Life. 1946. Am I right? <laughs> it's Saturday and I've got my friend Tom and Sally and they've come down from Warminster. Say like Warminster in a Warminster accent. Warminster. 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 Ah, ah. I'm out for the weekend for my birthday. Should be fun. Yes. Yeah. 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 And tonight we've got two for one. Millionaires. We just got loads so, of food. Here we go. So we're just popping into town to do some shopping, extra Christmas shopping. Everyone needs presents. I need presents. <laughs> Buy me presents. <laughs> have you bought anything? What have you bought? Um, cookies. Cookies. Cheap cookies. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. And, um, all I ever eat, ever, all uh, I ever do is eat on this show. And Danish. Danish. Well, we're on our way back now. We have finished shopping and we are going to make tea. MNS tea. Not just any tea, but MNS tea. Yeah. Uh, I've been to M&S and got two for one. Let's get it out. Right. That's a side order. For Tom and Sally we have... That is quite nice. Oh no, that's for me and Jessica actually. It's salmon fillets. And for you, we have a side order of chips and... Mmm, spiced chicken. And for dessert we have millionaire shortcake thingy dessert. Mm, yum yum yum. Video I'm videoing. Hello. Oh no, don't. Say hello. Hello. How are Hi. you? Mm, oh, it's lovely to see you. And you. You look so well. Dad. Thank you. Here's the old man. Father himself. Uh, Hello. 
<laughs> Is this yours? It's not, I'm borrowing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you today? Good. Right, buddy. It's good. It's Sunday and it's three o'clock and I'm here with my friends and some family to have a lovely roast dinner. Mm, yum, yum. It's so good. And Tom and Sally go back today, which is sad. They should stay for longer. <laughs> And tomorrow's my birthday, so I'm looking forward to that. Hey, old okay. man jam. Going to Bristol tomorrow. Oh, where's my dad? Look at him piling it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, You've got dishes, which is me. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> It's 12 o'clock at night, and Tom and Sally have gone home, and uh, so is my dad. And it feels like a really long day today, and I'm quite tired, so I think I'm going to get to sleep. Morning. It's Monday at half seven and it's my birthday! Woo! And I got lots of surprises. Oh, I can see this one's from. Mm, this is nice. This is from my dad and he's given me some money. Hopefully this past week you've seen a little bit of what it's like dealing with cancer. I just hope that you take away from this um, just a little bit of like how I try and make everything to be out like it's normal and try and live as normal as possible really. Um, I try not to think about it too much and just have to deal with it as it comes each day and uh, lucky that I've got friends and family around me to keep me positive. Um, having a positive attitude definitely helps in those darker days. I hope you've enjoyed my film. It's half ten and I just got back from At Praise. Everyone's had a great time, everyone turned up, everyone had lots of food and everyone went home safely, which is always good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to tomorrow because I've got to go into hospital for three days. It'll be my last cycle, so hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes alright and by Christmas time um, which should be in two weeks time. I should be all kind of feeling all right and feeling festive and In the new year, I should be free of cancer hopefully, but as everyone knows you've got that five-year Wait where you've got to have surveillance and go back for blood tests every month But yeah, I'm feeling good and feeling positive and when I'm in hospital I definitely remember the great times I've had for the past week Thank you